when Shari and I got engaged, we were living in a, a one big barn space. It was an open space with no private rooms. And a couple hours after we had agreed to get married, she overheard me on the phone ordering an isolation tank to be delivered to the living room because I figured I would need some alone time. And an isolation tank, also called sensory deprivation tanks, it's about eight feet long, four feet wide, four feet high, and it's filled with 10 inches of water, exactly body temperature, 98.6, so you feel neither hot nor cold. You, it's pitch dark, so you can't see your hand in front of your face. It's soundproof, and it's, there's 800 um, pounds of Epsom salts dissolved in the water so that you can't not float, um, like the Dead Sea or Salt Lake City. So it's a place to disappear into the void and the darkness, and it's claimed to be very rejuvenating. And unfortunately, Shari would sort of use it against me, because if we were having some sort of tiff or she was annoyed with me, often her, she would resort to just saying, get in the tank. 